Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to take a look at another beer that was made for the uh, 2019 uh, Rugby World Cup, which is taking place in Japan right now. Uh, it started yesterday, and in the last two videos we looked at uh, two beers by Kizakura uh, Brewing, uh, that were specifically made for this World Cup. And today we'll look at another one by a brewer that I consider a much better brewer uh, than Kizakura. This is Ise Kadoya's No Side Rugby 2019 New England IPA. And Ise Kadoya is in uh, uh, Mie Prefecture in the uh, city of Ise. Uh, which is a uh, has the two of the most important uh, shrines in Japan, so it gets a lot of tourists. Uh, and Isakadoya has been around for a long time uh, as a for several hundred years as a sake brewer, and now they're probably more famous for their beer. Um, the uh, founder and formerly head brewer, I believe. Uh, uh, Suzuki-san has a PhD in molecular biology and specializes in yeast and uh, is very well respected uh, around Japan in the craft beer community. And uh, they have a somewhat newish uh, uh, brewer uh, who has really kind of expanded their range of offerings. And uh, this is a New England IPA, which is uh, the uh, probably the trendiest style currently going uh, for the last two years or three years or so. Um, and New England IPA is, uh, was developed as a kind of contrast to the West Coast IPA, which is uh, very malty and very, very hoppy, um, which of course was developed uh, was kind of as a contrast to the UK style of uh, IPA, which is uh, maltier than hoppy. So, uh, New England IPAs often tend to use a, a oats, and the idea is to get a kind of hazy, a hazy uh, appearance and texture, a creamy texture from the oats, and really strong, sweet uh, fruit flavors with uh, minimal bitterness uh, on the tongue. Uh, this beer is quite pricey. Uh, I I bought it a while back and uh, in Ise, and I don't remember the price, but I saw another friend uh, who who uh, had this beer, and he said it was 940 yen, uh, which is uh, about nine dollars for a bottle, which is pretty pretty high up there. Uh, it's eight percent on rate beer. It has uh, only two ratings and. Uh, both of them are 3.9 out of 5, so pretty high. Um, it doesn't have enough ratings to have a percentile score for either uh, uh, beer, all beer, or for its particular style, which is considered IPA-hazy uh, or New England IPA. Okay, well, let's give this one a go and see how it is. What do we got? It is a a kind of hazy, dark, dull, orangish color, uh, with a very small, kind of off-white head. Cannot see any carbonation through there. Perhaps uh, too much turbidity. Okay, the aroma definitely has tropical fruit. Maybe papaya, melon, mango, mm. citrus, some spice. It's almost like cinnamon. Uh, yeah, this is really uh, an assault on the uh, sinuses. Fruit is just buzzing up in this, definitely. Again, very rich, rich fruit, some kind of spiciness, 
Uh, the fruit here in the flavor seems to be more of a blend of, uh, say, stone fruit and tropical fruit. But there's all kinds, all kinds of fruit in here. Uh, definitely tropical, maybe some apple, pears, peaches. Um, spice. It does have some final kind of prickliness in the finish. Feel it in the back of the throat. Uh, alcohol warmth definitely is there. Uh, medium body. Uh, it's got a creamy, creamy feeling to it. Very juicy. So people say the haze is the craze and New England IPAs are currently uh, the most popular form uh, uh, around the world, yeah, for sure. It's called New England. It was developed uh, first in the state of Vermont and some people wanted to call it Vermont IPA, but uh, it eventually developed the moniker of uh, New England IPA or NE IPA. So uh, this is all pretty much two style, except maybe that last finish of pepperiness uh, in the throat is not quite, but overall it's a, a good solid New England IPA, I think. So once again, this is, is Ise Kadoya's No Side Rugby 2019 New England IPA. And the Rugby World Cup is being held in Japan right now. Japan won their first game last night. They beat Russia. And we'll see how it goes from here on out. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like, leave some comments. And, and uh, if you enjoy hearing more about Japanese beer, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.